can hear? Yeah, better now. Sorry, I'm very poor at this gadget. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can me, someone give me the pointer over there? Brothers and sisters, this is a very important topic. Uh, when I shared it in the Greece, the Bilan prayer altar, many, many church leaders asked me for this PPT. So if uh, I have given them already, so if I don't share with you, then you may think that I copy from them. Well, so I want to keep the originality. That's why I have to share with you first. But it's a very important topic in this uh, the global economy downturn or this uh, trying time, difficult time, post-COVID. Yeah, amen. I, I, I'm very blessed. I, I truly blessed after I shared with you how I, bless, I was blessed by this uh, Christian financial stewardship. I'm truly blessed. Uh, those who are young ones starting a career, when you're old, still not too late because God's word is always useful. Always in time. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Who is the giver of our finance? Ah, that is very important. We bring nothing here. We came here naked. We go back naked. And we bring nothing here. In case you say, it's my house, it's my car. Where, who created the better for you to have your car? Who created, although you buy it with money, or you, you, who, who built your house, who gave you the bricks, who gave the earth, all from God, brother and sister. Nothing from us. We are stewards. Yeah, yeah the, God lent it to us. Let's see. First Chronicles 29, verse 11. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Right now, I did say it. God said it. Yours is the kingdom. O oh Lord, you are exalted ahead over all. Because He's a creator. If He didn't create the earth, didn't get the matter. We do not have cars. We do not have house. If you didn't create us, we would not be able to accumulate wealth on earth, brother and sister. Very important. Deuteronomy 8, huh? 18. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the power to get wealth, brother and sister. Who gives you the power? The Lord. Tell your neighbor. It's the Lord who gives you the power to get wealth. Tell your neighbor. Make sure it's, it's uh, inside your spirit. Amen. Very important, brother and sister. Hallelujah. We are the God, good stewards of God's money. Good stewards. Huh? We are temporarily taking care of what God has given us. Very important. So you don't always say, this is my car. You say, this lost car. It's lost how? If I'm you. <laughs> because when you say that, you dedicate to the Lord. That's why you dedicate our cars, our house, you know, our properties to the Lord. Why? We want God to be more because to take, uh, give us the wisdom to manage them. Hallelujah. If not, uh, you go into ways. Actually, you should spoil your next generation. Very important. You give them the principle how to govern financial, or how to govern your, their finance, uh, rather than you give them a lot, lot of properties to the next generation, you actually spoil them. You're actually sending them to be destroyed. Amen. Right? This is very important. Huh? For Christians, the concept of financial stimulus goes beyond sheer money management. It's rooted in biblical principle, very important biblical principle. In case you do not use this principle to govern your wealth, brother and sister, you have to confess. Huh? You have to confess. I confess it. You have to confess because if you don't confess, you cannot use the principle of God. You, you, God you, you, know, you don't confess your mistake. God cannot forgive you. You're still under a curse. Understand? You must confess and turn towards God, turn towards His principle, so that you'll be successful, so that you will be a good steward. At the end of the day, you know what Jesus said in Matthew 25? You are the good and faithful servant. It's not a boss, huh? it's not a what? Huh? Servant. Huh? Servant means stewardship. Yeah, very important, brother and sister. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that guides believers to view the, and manage their finances as a resource. Resource entrusted to them by God. Resources entrusted to them by God. Amen. Luke 16, 11. Therefore, if you have been not faithful, have not been faithful in the unrighteous man, this money, who will commit you to the trust, the true riches? True riches, the spiritual riches, spiritual inheritance. That's why, brother and sister, you are faithful with much, you are going to you give given more. Right, you are faithful like the parable of talents. The one who were two talents given more, ten talents given more. The one with one talents hide the talent and never multiply. 
God said that this talent will be given to the five talents. Understand, brother and sister, you must know that God will not give you the true rich, richer riches. That's why your, this principle God gave us is when not only you are managing the things on earth, you are actually not only investing the things on earth, but you are also investing in heaven. That's why it's a very balanced type of uh, financial principle. We know that we, we, our budget, we just have a country budget, but all this budget is, is for the, the Malaysia. Nothing about heaven. But we're going to see how God's principle not only enrich you on earth, but also in heaven. That is a beautiful thing about God's things, a double portion. He gives you a double portion. That's why you have two lives to live. One is your physical life, one is your uh, spiritual life. You have two families. One is your physical family, the other is a spiritual family. You must know it very well. But it's just, just live for the physical family, never live for the spiritual family. Ah. God will hold us accountable. Hallelujah. That's why today eh, you see the uh, finances, uh, finance, uh, the verses, Bible verses talking about more than 2,000 times. More than 2,000 verses. I think it's around 2,350 or something like that. Eh? More than talking about from the Old Testament to New Testament. 2,000 verses talking about finance. Why? And then the verses talking about prayer, only 500, more than 500, sorry, more than 500, faith, also for that. They are very important prayers, they are very important faith. But only, but less than talking about finance, that means God is, has no, God is already know that we have this, we, we have weaknesses in this area. We have weaknesses, that's why we have to apply this principle, God's principle, so that we will be light and salt. We will be the role model for the world to follow. We will be looked upon. When they, the world have no answer, why they always have not enough? Why when the, there is a inflation, they have not enough? They want to have to go somewhere to earn more money, even illegal. Brothers and sisters, you have to know this. If you don't know this, I don't know this. Ha ha. Children are God, so what? Children are God also in darkness. Children are God also gana. Children are also, also deceived. Brothers and sisters, very important. Jesus, let's talk about Jesus. Jesus. Nearly half the parables, nearly in the New Testament, half the parables, talking about finance. Brother and sister, if finance management is not important, why Jesus put so much effort, emphasis, emphasis? Why Jesus emphasizes so much? Yeah, brother and sister, hallelujah. Amen. We are the good steward. I hope I can finish. Uh, because it's, uh, it's 2,000 verses. Uh, so sit back. Uh, tell your neighbor, maybe we will not have lunch. 2,000 verses. Uh, how to finish? <laughs> Francis, uh, 2,000 verses. <laughs> but no, uh, I'm going to just go and uh, summarize it, you know, those, those important verses, but you have to go back to refer the Bible. Hallelujah. We are the good stewards of God's money. Genesis 2, 15. Then the, look, that's why you have to know the beginning. Then you know how, I, how to uh, finish the thing well. Beginning Genesis is very important. Every one of you must know Genesis very well. Yeah, Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Young people, take note, huh? No, very important, huh? Okay. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden, Eden, to tend and give. See, God wants us to manage from the beginning. Ask Adam, you manage, huh? I give you this garden, huh? Did Adam manage well? No, he failed, huh? That's why we had to go back there, huh? To manage it well, to tend and keep it, to manage a beautiful garden, a garden that is a uh, last eternity. The garden there is, uh, you know, exists for eternity, but they, they spoil it. So we do, we, we, if you spoil our financial management, if we fail in our financial management, we're going to fail in our life. Right, and sister? In our life. Okay, first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, uh, chapter 10, 4, verse 1. More what is required in the steward that one is found faithful. Hallelujah. New Testament says it must be faithful, faithful, faithful. Amen. So God wants us faithful servant. Faithful steward to take care of what he has given to us. That's why Christian wealth is like this, ah, huh? going up. If you don't do that, this is the consequences. This is the consequence in cycle. Yeah, when you become poor, you fight, fight, fight. You struggle. You become hardworking. You become rich. Next generation will be lazy, and your wealth will dwindle. You lost. Then you can, when you instill to the next generation, hey, my money I've given to you is God money. You have to take care of this property, take care of this uh, wealth for me. I, 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 if, 
I have left, you have taken care. If I have left, you take care of for me. So your next generation know how to multiply the wealth. Very important is not to give them how much, how much. It's not to give them this and this and this. And this why corruption came in. They want to corrupt and give it to the next generation. You do not know they are spoiling the next generation. The next generation, you bring the curse to the next generation. Brother and sister, yeah, teach your next generation, instill it to them. They are the steward. They don't own the money. All money belongs to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is our master and money is our servant. Wow, this is important. Huh? You must grasp it. Huh? Jesus is our master. Not I say, if I say, don't believe it. It's God say in the Matthew. Jesus said, Jesus said 6, 6, 6, 6, 22, No one can serve two masters. For either he had hate the one and loved the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God. Man. Very important. My way is your money in your hand. It's a servant. It's a Gifts from God. Where is God, Jesus, in your heart? A lot of people, Christians, Jesus is in the hand. Money is in the heart. Jesus, you're going to make money for me. Jesus, you let me cannot apart. Echo. Cannot lottery. Jesus is your servant, not your Lord. You have you asked God what to invest, how to invest, how to use my money? Where to use my money? When to use my money? Have you asked God or you yourself? Simply do it because you. You are the Lord. You, money is your God. That's why you use Jesus. It's, it's, you put Jesus in your hand. Brother and sister, very important. Hallelujah. Second financial principle, we need the principle of God. First is to, uh, Jesus the Master. Second is godliness with contentment. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 and 10. Now godliness with contentment. Contentment is very important. Godliness with contentment is great gain. It's not gain, a great gain. Godliness with contentment is great gain. That means you desire what you have. You don't desire what you don't have. For the love of money, it's not money. Money is neutral. Money is your servant. Money is good. It's a vessel. It's a vessel. It's a gift. Love for money is the root of all kinds of evil for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness. Greediness is idolatry, brothers and sisters. In case, in other words, from the Bible, Greediness is idolatry and pierce themselves through many sorrows. So don't love money. Use money. Use money. Yeah, don't love money. Mark chapter 8, verse 33. Uh, say back a lot of verses, no choice. Uh, 2,000, I, I, I summarized to, uh, to how many verses? Maybe 20. Yeah, you have to bear with me, brother and sister. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Very important. He gains the whole world. He earned a lot of money. He earned the whole world, but he loses his soul. He's a fool, Bible says. He's a fool. Yeah, you know, he, a lot of people may admire the fellow because the fellow have everything, but have zero in heaven. You know, he, he's going to a place that he can not known to have nothing. That's why the principle of God help you to invest in, on earth and in heaven. So you have both, you are blessed on earth and blessed in heaven. Brother and sister, this is the best formula. Or this is the best model, brother and sister. That Lord, your father and my father gave to us. That's why the father always gives us good things. All every good gift comes from above. The father always gives us good things. He will never curse you, brother and sister. If ever he, that you have curses in your life, it's not because he wants to give you the devil. The devil wants to deceive you. The devil wants to say, this father is no good. Yeah, your father is not real. Your father is uh, dead. Not dead. Our God is alive. How are you? Generous. Very important. Generous. Some are very good. I don't know where you learn this good from. Never in the Bible say good. Because when you cut the good, heaven door will be shut. Windows will be shut. Yeah. Why is it like that? You see the book of Acts chapter 20, verse 35. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus say. He said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Correct, you know? You all know this word, but you always get blessing from people. Blessing. Bless me, bless me, bless me. But have you blessed people? See, you always have someone to bless our brother and sister. Don't compare upward, compare downward. I you don't know, I know no money, you know, I just a little wages. How to bless? Hey, there are someone uh, below you uh, need your blessing. Uh. Yeah, you bless people, don't expect to return. They return, there's no blessing. Because when you ask, you bless those who can return to you, heaven's door will open. God cannot do anything. You bless those who cannot return to you, cannot pay back. Uh, that is the one. That is the one you can, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, actually, you can cause God to open heaven door for you, and pour for His blessing that you have no place, not enough rooms to maintain, uh, to contain. Uh. Okay, Proverbs 11, 24, also there is talking about this. There is one who scatter, 
yet increase more. You see, it's calculator. You come to God, never don't use calculator. I always say, you call, do your business, you use calculator. You do ever have to use calculator. But it's come to God, cannot use calculator. Calculator is for the earth. In heaven, God calculate. Lah. No need. Lah. God have <laughs> Unfinished resources. God cannot finish his resources. He wants to bless you, but you must give him the permission. You give him the legal way to bless you. If you don't give him the legal way to bless you, how can he bless you? The accuser of blessing working 24 hours. The accuser of brother working 24 hours in your life and my life. Brother and sister, oh, you sleep also, the fellow accuses you. Why you really the fellow sleep like sleep saying it? Uh, so, so he kills you every day. So that is a problem, brother and sister. You cannot fight the devil. You can only use Jesus or, or allow Jesus to fight for you. Yeah? So Jesus fight your enemy, not you fight your enemy. Yeah, don't be deceived, brother and sister. This is one who scatter yes, increase more. There is one who withholds more than is right, than is cleansed, but it's lead to poverty. Calculator, tapole bakai. The generous soul will be made rich. This is what God said, your father said, my father said. Uh, and he who waters will be also be water himself. Yeah, I've seen this many, many incidents. They keep, keep, keep. They don't know. Then their pocket, their hole in the pocket. They keep on receiving, keep on keeping money, keep on keeping but the, the gift that God has given. They're full of pockets. Their health is no good. The car breaks down. The house also breaks down. You know, the, the investment also uh, kaput. I've seen so many, many uh, uh, things. I've in, among Christians, uh, it's not the worldly people. I believe they don't talk. They only have one master. There's money, right? Okay, generous. First is uh, godly contentment. Uh, you know, you bring nothing to the world. You also can bring nothing to go back home. Can you bring anything to home? Uh, this, this, uh, I, I totally like the wah. Uh, not less sensitive, it's a nice shirt, nice shoe. Bring it to heaven. Learn, teach me how to bring today all this to heaven. You can't, correct or not? You can't even bring your hair. Uh, you like your hair so much. He like your, you see, I got so much hair. The doctor can't let both. I said, I, but you cannot bring to heaven. <laughs> I said, in heaven, I may have a lot of hairs. <laughs> I'm afraid, joke, uh, just a joke. Uh, don't take it to heart. <laughs> Okay, brother and sister, first principle, Jesus the master, money is our servant. Second is godliness, is contentment. Third is generous. Don't forget that. Work diligently. Ah, don't want somebody to pick money. Uh, don't want to work, want the money, get from daddy money. But daddy, but, but uh, mommy. Huh? Proverbs 10 and 4, he who has a slack has becomes poor. Huh? You, you lazy, you become poor. But the hands of the diligent make you rich. You know what I say? You know what I say? God said, must work hard. Young people. Shortcut. <laughs> you go to KL, you can use shortcut highway. But in terms of uh, accumulating health, wealth, God use you is to work. Yeah, work. Huh? For us, uh, 14, verse 23, in all labor there is a profit, but either chapter, chapter leads only to poverty, brother and sister. Cannot be lazy. I know you want to enjoy this, enjoy that. There are so many things. That's why the young people, young people generation now is very tough. Last time, you know what is our gain? What's our game? You know, uh, play with the, what is it called? Uh, play, uh, just, just throw some boxes, uh, square uh, on the floor, just jump here, jump there. That's uh, our game. Uh. Now, what is your game? Your game is so expensive. My game is so cheap at time. Yeah, we just uh, play around the field. That's all. That is our entertainment. Uh, 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 that's sure. Amen. Hallelujah. Now it's different. Uh. Youngster, take, uh, take, take notes. Yeah, a, test, a second test, Solonians chapter 3, was that if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. Wow, very, very serious, brother and sister. So you are not okay, you. You are not chat chat, you must work. Then I cannot find a work. Can find. Then why we import why so many foreign workers? Why we, you know, uh, engage so many foreign workers? That means there's job you're choosing, you are choosing, choosing what you want. No, God say work. The Bible says that you, you, you can choose. He asks you to work. Yeah? Diligent is very important. Get out of that. Ah, this is very important, brother and sister. Proverbs 22, verse 7. The rich rules over the poor and the borrowers is servant to the lender. Very important, huh? Borrowers. The only thing that you can borrow is to buy your house. Car, try to use cash. Because car value depreciate. You have a problem, you cannot pay. You lose your job, you cannot pay. The only thing you can buy is <laughs> house. House of value go up. Yeah? Also, I know I sometimes own condo. Buy landed property, don't buy condo if you can. 
landed property always go up. Yeah? At least you sell, you, 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 you know, you, 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 you confiscate your car, confiscate your house, finish. Francis, not only that, it affect your family members, it affect your children. Yeah? Don't give a borrow unnecessary. Amen? I, I tell you one incident, uh, it's happened in uh, Mount Christians. Uh, yeah? Her father, very nice father. There's not much money. The son wants to borrow money from the father to invest. The investment went kaput. So for father, say, son, when are you going to pay me back? Eh? At least pay me from interest or something. Never. He see the father, he's run away. It actually disrupts the father-son relationship. There's a cell group leader. You know, a new Christian came, you know. Say, want to need money to do this, do that, to get. Then he borrow the money, lend the money to the new believer. After that, he cannot see. Never see the new believer. You want the disciple, new disciple, don't want to, the, the new believer, don't want to see the past, uh, the SL group leader. See, this is kind of thing can cause problem, you know. Brothers and sisters, if you want to borrow, actually, you don't borrow to invest. You want food, we can provide food. Shelter can provide shelter. Clothing can provide shelter. You borrow money from someone to invest, eh? You borrow money, who is your boss? The one you borrow, there's your master, there's is replacing Jesus. Uh, brothers and sisters are very important. Huh? And they will run away from you. You cannot pay, you run away from you. Amen? And then you cannot do what you want to do for the Lord, uh, to the person. Yeah, you want to disciple, so cannot. Huh? Sell group leaders, take note. Amen? Sell group leaders. Okay, don't be grand. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Brothers and sisters, do not be one of those who shakes hands. 22, verse forward, uh, forward 22, then six, uh, shake hands in the past. One of those who is surety for that. You see, our brothers and sisters, we are all Christians. We are the light and salt. You and me cannot go bankrupt. You can't go bankrupt. You cannot be church leaders. You really ask me, every Christian will be leader eventually. So you can't get be bankrupt. Right? So, brothers and sisters, he who is surety for a stranger will suffer, Proverbs 11. But one who hates being surety is secure. Because it's going to affect you, you're bankrupt, it's going to affect your children, it's going to affect your spouse, everything. And you are not a role model for the world to. Very important, don't be guarantor. I know the bank asks for guarantor. Because banks do business, uh, don't want to do loogie business, you see. So you guarantor for people for to buy some loan to buy something, be careful. Yeah, do not do that because it's not God's view. Yeah, I have many examples. Church members become guarantor, become bankrupt. They suffer until now. They bear the consequences for so many years and they cannot serve in a church effectively. Brothers and sisters, this is what you need to take note because it's the word of God. If you ever become character, you have to confess, ask for forgiveness from God and turn around. Yeah? And very dangerous, very important. Eh? Nobody, no Christian can shall be bankrupt. Okay? Because you use all these principles, brothers and sisters, you can wear off, off you, can, you, can, you can overcome uh, inflation, you can overcome economic downturn, you can overcome any calamity that happen because very secure. This is God's word, one. It, 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 it carry you through storms in life. If you really follow this, you have no financial difficulty. You, are, you have no, uh, uh, you have no lack, uh, no financial difficulty. You are, you are secure. Avoid get rich scheme. Wow, a lot of people involved it. Someone go overseas to get uh, money. That is wrong, brother and sister. Proverbs 28. If God can, if God is alive, cannot provide money for you in this land that you are. You were born. So the God in America is a power powerful. Zero. God in America more powerful can bless you. Or God in Australia more powerful can bless you. No. God is everywhere. Omniscient God. Yeah? He is powerful. Yeah, Proverbs 28, 20. A faithful man will abound with blessing. Faithful man. That he who hastened to be rich will not be unpunished. Wow, brother, it's going to be punished, you know. God is going to punish us if we get well because we are not supposed to do that. You see, after the fall, Genesis 23, verse 17. Genesis 23, verse 17. Curse is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days. So you need to work to get well. Maybe we are in Christ, your curse is less. Huh? God can make it easier. But it's still you need to work. You cannot get rich. You, do, you don't work. You get money. Money comes from heaven. There is a curse. You will not go unpunished. It's not from God. Something is not from God. It's from where? Devil. You must understand that something is not from God. It's from devil. Yeah? This world is only two forces. Light and darkness. 
God, <laughs> Lucifer. That's all. You ask me, got third force. Where is it? Ah, Dr. Tiru, find from Bible for third force. They got third jalan. Ah. Christian very smart. I don't want fully obey God. I don't want fully obey the devil. I is in the middle. Wow. Best of both worlds. Tony, where to find? Ah? Investment got this. Ah. <laughs> God, brother and sister, avoid get rich scheme is not God. God can bless your hand, bless your profession, bless your health. Bless your heart. He can do that. He's all powerful, God, brothers and sisters. Don't don't believe all this worldly teaching. Ah, huh? oh, you know, you know, money is king. Who is the one who talk about money is king? Where is he now? Yeah, I don't want to say that. You know, yeah. Diversification and uh, diversification. Exclusivity. Chapter eleven. Divide your message task among seven and among eight. If you say, you see, God, you say all these things, God teaches you never use on it for you to not know. What calamity will happen? You see, different, different departments or different, different categories of investment you need to have. You can have insurance, you can have bond, you can share market. Uh, after I tell you how to, how, how to go about it. And all these things, different, different. You don't put all your money in one basket. Put it in eight baskets, seven to eight baskets. Whoa, seven to eight baskets. Uh, but don't, don't see me put. Uh, but after that, there's uh, some God's words to tell us how to invest in different, different categories. Yeah? Application financial. Now it's apply. Very important. Apply. Uh. We have said apply it. We know all these things. You have start applying it. Uh. Uh, Malachi 3, verse tithe, 10% belong to God. Uh. Uh, Malachi, bring all your tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in your house. And try me now in this. Share the Lord of hosts. If you will not open, I will not open to you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that you will not enough room. So this is what I say. Brother and sister, I, I thank God for this. Uh. If you do not have this, I tell you, money is our master. I thank God for this. You may say, I uh, don't look at 10% right now, I start with very difficult. Start with something small. Go up. Because this is the basic, actually. You ask the New Testament, you see the New Testament uh, Bible or verses, all belong to God. Your life belongs to God. Dedicate your life. Everything belongs to God. 10% is nothing. Now our service charge is 8% of the government. You know, my text, about government text me how much? 28%. You ask Tony. Every $100, $28 belongs to government. I pay. You mean I cannot pay 10% to God? Brothers and sister, it's better to hold your 90% to be blessed by God than 100% not blessed by God. Because why God instituted this one? Because He wants your heart. He wants you to know that He is the master. He wants you to know that He is the one who gives you all the gifts. You do know, you might understand that uh, this is not only on earth that uh, you can bless uh, in heaven. God going to bless you back 30, 60, 100 fold. That's why you are investing in heaven. This one is not, not that's why you don't understand. You use calculator. No. You are giving to your account in heaven. You got account, account. Jesus incorporated. You have account in heaven. This is inside your account. It's not 10%. When you give 10 percent God gives you 30, 60, 100. It's, you are giving back to your account in heaven. Why is it so difficult, uh, brother and sister? I don't understand. You always say check your account in the bank. Huh? What bank you have? M Bank. Huh? Public bank, CIA. Every day you check, wow, going up. You check your uh, heavenly account. Uh, you check. Uh, you never check. Why? Uh? That is your place, a permanent place. That is your home. Uh. This is not your home. Uh. You go to a trip, uh, you go and check your bank account. Uh. You go trip anywhere, you go check a bank account. You bring a lot of money and, and spend. Correct? No, you don't check. Right? So you spend, you gain in heaven. You spend, spend in good cause. Huh? Don't spend, me spend. Latest iPhone, latest computer, I'm sorry. Latest car, you're going to be poor. Young people, don't get loan, borrow unnecessary, except house. Saving for future contingent is 10 to 20%, 10% to 10 to 20%. You need to save for contingent or emergency. Yeah, it's not I say one, it's the Bible. Genesis 20, 41, 35 to 40. Then the, that food shall be a reserve for the land of the servant, seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land may not perish during the famine. You see, very important, brothers. You know, the whole Israelite tribe will be wiped out because of famine, because, but because God with Joseph, because God is with Joseph, seven fat years, He gave Joseph the vision, seven fat years to, 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 to saw our food. So that's why Egypt became the most richest but, uh, nation in, uh, at the time when Joseph became the prime minister. Richer everywhere, go and buy food for you. Here he get this wisdom. Who knows his future? There is a famine seven years. Only God knows. 
So you have God in your heart. You have everything. You are the victor. You are the more than conqueror. Money in your heart is a security. Who says so? Tony, money in your heart is a security. That's why you see the person who says money is a king. Where is he now? So you must understand, brother, says, don't believe that. Yeah? That's why during famine, you, because you, you, you do this, during famine, you don't, 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 don't suffer. Actually, I, I'm blessed during pandemic. I, pandemic, I have more money. I don't know how. Pandemic, I have more money. Because bank never go after me yeah, for the, those property. And then the, my expenses less. I sell my property at a high price. I don't know how it's And before pandemic, three years, I didn't buy anything. I don't know why. The person who always asked me to buy it disappeared from my life. I said, how come? Ah? You never come. Oh, don't you never come. Because, 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 because this is it. I said, oh, I know. Lah. Because of this, because, 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 because God has actually prevented. If I buy a lot of things three years before pandemic, I'm in trouble. I very relaxed during the pandemic. I grow in the Lord. I focus on the Lord. I, I feel the goodness of God during the pandemic. But I shouldn't, I mean, I see a lot of people suffer. I pray for them. I cry for them. Yeah. Brother and sister, I not say I was you know, happy for myself. 10 to 20%, 10% to God, 10 to 20% for your future. Very important. Huh? Okay, my 10 to 10, and say 10% difficult. Huh? Very difficult. No money to save. Uh, Tiru, you must teach. Huh? You are the Bible teacher. Make a budget. At least 7 to 80, when you have to bring a budget. Uh, this budget is not only for the everything on earth, must have heaven also. Huh? Application. Tell your neighbor, Dr. Kwan is going to finish very soon because he's teaching all these things. Very difficult, you know, uh, very difficult to apply. Not difficult, very easy to apply because it's in your father's word. Yeah? He used this Bible, this word to create you. How you That's why you don't understand. You see, uh, the medicine, uh, our medicine we create, uh, I mean, invented by uh, scientists, must work in the body. Must work in the body. It doesn't work in the body, this medicine is, cannot be used. This word of God uh, created us. If you don't use the word of God, use what? Uh? If you apply something in your life that is not from your creator, what are you using? Uh? What are you taking in? They said food. You take the wrong food, your body is going goyak. You take the wrong nutrition, you know, poison, you're going to be poisoned. So if you don't take the word of God who is the, if you're going to bless you, who is going to nourish you, you're going to take another word and for another source, it's poison you. It's going to destroy you. Brothers and sisters, very, very important. Huh? Luke chapter 14 verse 30, For which of you intended to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost where he has enough. Uh, this one you need a little bit calculator because you are going to invest in the earth. That's why God used, asked you to use calculator. But there are certain portion is not using, no, no need to use calculator. All right? Okay. Like I, I tell you, this is the budget you have to, you have to budget. My well, country got budget. My clinic got budget. You have no budget. The youngster never use budget. Lah. That is wrong. Lah. Bible say that. Lah. Ah, David is laughing. Really. David say, I budget. That's why I like Now I enjoy the fruits of my life. You know, they also not budget. Lah. You know how many youth have been bankrupt? They do. Youth have been bankrupt. How many? More than 50%. Bankrupt. Oh. Youth. Oh. How? Christian youth. Jacob, no, Jacob is it? Julius, John, Jared, Jared, ah, cannot bankrupt, ah. Julius cannot bankrupt. <laughs> Can, ah. Okay, yeah, okay. Make the budget, ah. What do we make? Ah, clothing, food, accommodation, transport, plus all your expenses, your the computer, your handphone, anything. Fifty to sixty. It is rich enough for. Which I mean, for boss, no need, ah. No need so much, ah. Boss doesn't mean that you no need so much. You no need budget. You need to budget. Who is the boss? Who are the bosses here? Do business one. Uh, they not say, yeah. Okay. Clothing, food, accommodation, transport, plus all your expenses, 50 to 60%. I think it's fair. Tony, okay, no? Okay. Invest the surplus, 20 to 30%. You need to invest parable loan money. You can see that. Uh, very important. God wants us to invest. Because He has given you this gift to, for you to use in a good way. How to invest? Quick, make quick, uh, get rich. Scheme? No, get quick rich, uh, rich, uh, rich scheme. No, invest in long term with diversification. Yeah, Proverbs 21, verse 1 Plan, Plans of diligence lead surely to plenty, but those of everyone who is hasty surely to poverty. No, I say, brothers, it's my our father say, don't get get rich scheme. 
don't involve in that. Yeah, long term one, the dividend diversification like seven to eight uh, portion, uh, seven to eight uh, uh, investment, uh, yeah, friend and sister. Ha ha, friend, uh, long term. Why? Where the long term bond insurance? Okay, no problem. Why else? Unit trust, no problem. Share also can, long term, uh, not short term, not speculative. A speculative one do not involve because I told you uh, after the curse, after Adam and Eve fell, we have to work. God only can bless our hands, bless with wisdom, our how to invest. All right, okay, invest only on things. They say you want to start another business. Things that you know, you understand, don't involve in those, I partner with those people who know, but you don't know. You are in tra big trouble, brother and sister. That's why you need to study first before you want to invest in our business. I'm talking about business partnership, all these things. Very important. Yeah, this is God say one. Now. Okay, Proverbs 25, 24. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pre precious riches. By knowledge, you have to have knowledge. You want to venture in certain business, you have to have knowledge. You cannot say, oh, yo, I got money. I simply invest. Simply invest. Simply put. You know, my friend, oh, I touched you up here. You cannot do that, brother and sister. This is a curse. You must understand the trade before you invest. You see people who are doing very well. In this uh, trade, you want to also inside. Do you know this trade? You don't know better. Don't get your hand off. You know you will be burned, brother and sister. Amen. Invest your surplus. Okay, help the poor. Ha <laughs> ha. This is heaven. Invest in heaven. How many people do that? You know that your earning and uh, you have some portion of your earning for the poor. All your salary is not only for you. Thousand parts for the poor. You must set uh, locate a, a, a certain uh, 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 money for the poor. Amen. Deuteronomy 15, uh, 11. For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you, saying, You shall open your hands wide to your brother. In the house of charity, begin in the home. To, uh, to, the, to, to your poor and needy in your land. See, home first, then other side. Some people, oh, do you charity outside? The house, your house got a lot of problems, you never help. It's wrong. House first, extra outside. That's why you ask uh, Tony. He don't simply give money outside, unless he, he, he got a lot of money. You know, he will uh, bless the people here first from the church uh, offering. Huh? Okay, yeah. Proverbs nineteen seventy. He who have pity on the poor, let oh, uh, you see, uh, God so rich how to lend money from you. The only thing you can lend to God is the poor. You help the poor, you lend it to God. Why? Diru, wow, oh, you know this is very powerful. You lend it to the poor, he will pay you back what he has given. How many times? Thirty times, sixty times, hundred times. You get invest, you get a hundred times. A poor means that they do you, you help the poor, you help the poor, don't ask them to pay you back. Eh? Free offering, help them. So that when they, okay, uh, they, they're blessed by this, they uh, can help others. When they are able to stand on their feet, they can help others. Very important. You ask Tony, we give it to the poor, you ask them, give back, eh? give back. No, eh? so this is poor. I'm not saying you can, uh, I told you, you cannot lend. Eh? You can only help the poor, help those who never... Because you're going to lend them, you're going to make, uh, uh, cause them to sin. They cannot pay you back, they run away from you. I, <laughs> last time, uh, when I early, uh, uh, my leader, leadership, uh, during my early uh, uh, leadership, uh, I don't know, you know uh, as a leader, early stage, uh, I don't know, I, I caused a lot of problems to me. Yeah. Help the poor, many verses talking about help the poor. Uh, you lend it to the Lord, you know, you have to help the uh, charity begin at home. Uh, help the poor, Psalm 41 verse. Blessed is he who considers poor, the Lord will deliver him out of time. Wow. I tell you, you help the poor, so many good things are going to come about. Not only you lend it to the Lord, he's going to pay you with interest. You think the bank interest, hey, bank interest how much, uh, Tony? No? Three point something. Three. You know, the, the 30 times. 60 times, how many percent? 30 times? 300, 20, huh? 30 times? 60 times, 100 times? How many percent you count? La? I don't know, there's only count, counting, know how to count. Or oh, maybe Michael, they want Michael, it's counting already. Counting, okay, very good. Yeah, deliver the team in the time. Or oh, you got problem, go, go to, because uh, if you don't deliver, how are you going to control it? The poor going to be blessed by you. So you know you know help the poor, he make sure you healthy. Make sure you are Doing well. Mm. Yeah, deliver you for time. Nobody can steal from you. Yeah. Proverbs 28 says, He who gives the poor will not lack. And I told you already, not lack. But he who hides and his eyes will have many curses. Not only one curse, many curses. Brother and sister, allocate maybe 1%. 
or uh, five percent of your salary for the poor. You wouldn't lose out. You win, 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 untung, untung all the way, brothers and sisters. This is the principle. I apply this. I, I'm not just talking to you. I apply all these things, uh, and God bless me. Uh, really bless me. I told you in the during pandemic. Really bless me. Okay, love offering. Yeah, exodus. Then everyone who came, who has for Esther, and everyone who spirit was willing, and they brought the Lord's offering of the word of tabernacle uh, meeting for all that is service and for the holy garment. You see, tight is for the salary of the full time workers or the church expenses. Love offering is for the church, build, church building, brother and sister. You have to involve. In case we have a new church building, you have to. I'm, I'm not asking you to give that something that you don't have. Give something, or contribute. Because it's God's temple. It's happened there. It's, it's in the word. Amen. And Deuteronomy 16, verse 7 every man shall give as he is able. According to. Uh, I don't know. God never forces us. You give. Some borrow our loan money to give to God. Can I? Dominic, borrow our loan to give to God. Cannot. Uh, borrow money to give to God cannot. You give what you have. You got ten cent. You got ten cent. You give five cent. It's okay. Yeah, uh, no problem. He's able according to the blessing of the Lord your God. Because sometimes I say, well, you borrow money to give to God. You malu lah. Everyone give lah. I don't money lah. I say no. How much you have? Five cent. Give lah. Huh? Why is malu so malu? That is nothing to malu. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 this political team, uh, malu apa boss boss do, yeah. Everyone who shall give you is able according to, yeah. Okay, yeah. Not only you uh, yeah, advance the kingdom of God. Not only you church building. You must advance the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters. Every one of you, you are called to make disciple of all nations. Matthew twenty eight nineteen. Go and therefore make disciple. When you do evangelism, you need money. You need to plant it. You need to come bring people, spend people on Christmas luncheon, uh, 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 Easter luncheon. You need to bring them. You need money. You need to bring them in the church. Uh, to send them. You need money to evangelize. You need to spend. God is very powerful. That's why He call, call you. This, brother and sister, love offering. I have, I put this one. That's why I called reminder. This is love offering, including your parents. Honor your parents. I never feel this, brother and sister. Very blessed. The, my mother never asked me to give how much I give every month without fear. Even my mother-in-law. They said, don't want, don't want, don't want your money hard earned. I said, no. You're going to uh, rob my blessing from God. Give. Just give what you can. Give to your parents. You give to God. You honor God. Fifth commandment, thanks for my fifth commandment. Honor your parents. You say, honor. Daddy, mommy, I love you. Like that. That's for honor. David. Faith without action is dead. So you need to honor with them substance. Give them something. Not only uh, uh, birthday and give lah. After birthday, no nothing you give. Every man uh, give something lah. Because they brought up you not easy lah. Kelvin, make sure, make sure you give, give to your mother, father, your salary, certain percentage. Okay? Yeah, up to you. Love offering. Yeah. Fifth commandment. Ten commands. First commands for God. First and four is for all for God. Fifth is for your parents. That means it's equally important. It's tengah, tengah. In the middle, you need to give some. How much is up to you? As God bless you, give, give, give more. I always in, in Christmas you pay an inflation of oh, mother, 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 not enough. Like, I give at Christmas. Never fail. First, daily is our gift. So, Amelia, take notes. Huh? <laughs> Advance the kingdom of God. Okay, this is a thing, our friends. It's very important. Huh? This is a conclusion. Ten percent to God. Ten. Uh, you, yeah, is uh, saving for future conditions. Make a deficit. Yeah. And invest the surplus after minus expenses, long term and diversification. Invest only things that uh, you understand. Hallelujah. And uh, help the poor, very important, advance the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy? Rise up and glorify God. Let's sing this song. I think third song. Can you sing the song? Lord is my Lord. You are my Lord of all. Father, we thank you. Praise you. I told you I was going to finish very early. Oh, Father, all these are very important principles. It's your word. We are created by your word. We cannot live without your word. Your word is so important. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise your holy name. Can you sing the song of Jesus? Jesus, your Lord. The song, worship. Yeah. Oh, shakala bashikiada baba. Run, sister. If you have any struggle in your finance, don't worry, it's not too late. 
Even you say, you, you are, I'm not working. Don't worry. God understands. God will help us. Because He is our Father. We God, Father don't help the children. Early father can give a good gift. How about the Father in heaven? He's a perfect father who understands all our struggling, Amen. all our weaknesses. But he wants us to come to him. Draw strength from him. Draw wisdom from him. Let's sing together. Shukurabha. Shukurabha. Amen. Let's sing this song. Open your heart for the Lord. Open your heart. Let God speak to us through His song. Let God be the Lord of our everything. Put it in the center of your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Love us not because we are obedient, not obedient. He love us. On a reward come from obedience. He loves us unconditionally, Lord. And but brothers and sisters, you must understand he's never spilled. He makes us new every morning. In case you have done something not right, God will make it new. Renew. Why? Is thy faithfulness? Oh Lord. God love never cease. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new.
thank you for this morning message. It's not what I want to preach. But you want your children to hear it because they want to glorify you. Hallelujah. Everyone needs your word because your word is a manna. Your word is a bread of life. That means if we don't have the bread of life, we have no life. Father, give us abundant life according to your word. Granted, Lord. Yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we fall short. But Lord, you're going to renew it. As this song said, as new every day morning, you're going to renew it. As we want to be renewed. But thank you, Father. We bless, we ask you to bless each one of us as we go forth from this place. Your blessing, your guidance, your word go with us, your presence. Then we will come forth, come back as next month, Sunday for another section with you and face to face. Father, thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for renewing us. Thank you for Lord teaching us, guiding us in Jesus' mighty name as I pray. Amen. Francis, you got any prayer requests? Just come forward as the musicians play the music. I will pray for you. Otherwise, God bless you and a blessed Sabbath. Amen. Hallelujah. Be a blessing to the world. Amen.